Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about our friend the NEMA 17 motor. If you've been working with 3D printing at all, you've probably seen more than one of these guys. They're pretty standard fare in pretty much every 3D printer design. And sometimes you're going to get one where there's no removable connector on the side and you have no idea which pairings are supposed to go with which in terms of the wires coming out of the motor. Well, that's a pretty easy thing to fix. If you've got a multimeter like this, you can go ahead and set it to detect continuity. And when it's in this mode, if you touch the two leads together, you'll get a reading on the display. So with knowing that and keeping that in mind, you can go ahead and take any two of the wires from your NEMA 17 motor. So in this case, green and black and touch them to the leads. If you get a reading, those two are meant to go together. So if I keep holding green, but I touch blue, you'll see there's no reading off of there. If I then switch this one to touch red and keep this one on blue, we get a reading. So now you know that those two are supposed to go together, but what if you don't have a multimeter? Well, the test is pretty much just as simple. So if you try to spin the spindle on your NEMA 17 motor, you're gonna notice that it spins pretty easy. If you touch a couple of wires together that aren't meant to go together, this shouldn't change. If on the other hand, you touch two wires together that are meant to go together, you should see an immediate increase in the resistance. The reason this happens is because this, like any other spinning coil motor like this, is actually also a generator. When they're touching together and you start to spin it, it generates electricity, which goes through the wires, grounds out, and creates the resistance you're feeling. If you take your second set of wires and bind them together as well, so you now have both pairs touching, spinning this should become pretty much impossible. So, by doing that, you can figure out exactly which two pairs are supposed to go side by side on your connector, connect them to your ramps or whatever setup you're using for your board, and of course, if the motor spins backwards, you just reverse the connector. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys found this useful, and until next time, stay creative.